Hey everybody, this is Hernan uh, with Semantic Mastery once again. And on this opportunity, I wanted to talk to you about a little bit about channels, IFTTT channels. What are they? What is a channel and how, how it works, you know, to make everything happen on your IFTTT uh, account. Okay, so basically we talked about what IFTTT was, how it worked, and it works based on channels, okay? So what are channels? Well, channels are the different platforms that you can use to trigger recipes over IFTTT. Okay, so basically, uh, let me show you real quick. Uh, I'm here on my on one of my IFTTT's account, okay? And um, if I go to channels, you can see that IFTTT holds more than 160 channels and they are adding uh, more channels uh, pretty much every week, okay? So when we started, playing and, and working around with IFTTT and getting to master, uh, master the, the, the tool. We had around 80 channels, and now it has become to the double of them, okay? So, and these guys are always improving. So it's a pretty, pretty neat tool, okay? I, and it's free also. So as you can see, you have all of these channels, all of these platforms that you can use to uh, pretty much automate whatever you want to do over the internet, okay? So here are the channels that I have already active. Uh, the, all the channels, you can search the channels over here. So let's say that I wanna activate the WordPress channel. So I'm gonna, if I uh, search for WordPress, as you can see, it, it appears here. Well, let me show you the activated ones that we have. We have a couple that comes by default, okay? Activated, and then we have a couple that I have activated. And to activate a channel, basically you need to open an account, okay, with IFTTT on the channel that you wanna that you wanna work with. For example, let's say that I wanna work with Buffer, then you go to bufferapp.com and open an account, and then it's gonna tell you to, if you click on the channel, then you click on activate, okay, and then once it is active, it's gonna ask for authorization, and when it's authorized, it will allow you to work with these. Uh, IFTTT channel, okay? So basically here are a couple of recipes or different channels that you can use. If you wanna browse uh, for more recipes, here are the triggers that you can use via buffer or the actions that you can use um, with buffers, okay? So basically, let's say that you are using buffer to, uh, you know, for your social media. So every time you add a post to buffer, it can syndicate out to many, many other social properties, okay? So basically, what I'm using here, my recipes, let me show you real quick. I'm using a lot of RSS feeds because this is basically uh, some recipes for SEO, okay? So I have my feed over here and I'm sharing to Flickr and I'm sharing to Twitter and then I'm sharing to a bunch of other properties. I can go, I can go in line, I can tell him that every time it allows, uh, it updates my, uh, or I update, I should say my WordPress, then it goes and posts out to Twitter or to Facebook pages, whatever we wanna do here, guys, okay? So basically these are the IFTTT channels and how they work. If you wanna know more and, and get to master this um, tool, you may wanna go to uh, ifttseo.com, okay, where we show you everything that you wanna know about uh, how to automate and overpower your SEO with some simple but really, really powerful IFTTT recipes, okay? So go now to ifttseo.com and see you there. Thank you.